Our vision in India is to become the market leader by partnering with the small businesses in their journey to success. And as a result, you know, we have gone down the task of discovering what works for customers in India. In January 2012, India team started the first series of pre-commercial tests. Over 150 QuickBooks online free trial abandoners were asked why they didn't stay. We enroll about 3,000 users for free trial every month, uh, but 70% of these users do not return to the product after first login. There were three main reasons. First, uh, they, they, they could not visualize uh, the capabilities of this product, what this product could do for uh, their business, or what could they do. Uh, the second was, even if they understood the capability of the product, they could not relate it to their business. So if I was a travel agent, I did not know whether this product would be the right solution for my requirements. And third, uh, because the product is online, there were some concerns, for example, data security related concerns, which the businesses had, and they did not get convincing answers on these, uh, uh, on these concerns. Indian customers do expect in-person help when they buy software. There's this inertia and it's, it's a set practice. If you buy a new thing, whether it is a hardware or a software, you expect in-person training. That's the mindset. In the first pilot, the team captured a list of users who asked for training help on their own. A small onboarding cell was set up for providing in-person training to these users at their premise. Assisted onboarding's first pilot during commercial tests saw 40% paid conversion from happy customers month on month. Overall, one-third of QuickBooks online paid customers till now have come through assisted onboarding program. I signed, it for, signed up for the trial version. It was really complicated. And suddenly, after the training, it seems like it wasn't complicated at all. I just wasn't thinking in the right direction. While the program showed promise, the challenge was scaling it up. We clearly recognize that we have to find the good scalability model for assisted onboarding. And we are going to pursue two key levers to get to that. Number one, remote assisted onboarding. Remote assisted onboarding is through online and telephonic onboarding. And the second lever is in-person assisted onboarding, where a person goes to the customers and get them started to use the product and help them find the features. The team learned customers need training, but they won't ask for it on their own. Reactive onboarding was working, but was not demonstrating scale. Even with this new approach, there was no significant improvement in the number of users asking for training. In the past, we were doing a reactive assisted onboarding. What that meant was we were actually asking the customers, do you want onboarding? And a lot of times we observed that if we make it proactive on day one, get them the onboarding, it results in better product adoption and paid conversion. Users either tend to forget or lose interest in QuickBooks Online when approached after a few days of enrollment. This insight led the team to a new hypothesis. Reach users when they logged into QuickBooks Online and offer assisted onboarding. Instant email alerts triggered for all new free trial enrollments. Based on these alerts, onboarding team started engaging users with a welcome call and offered onboarding assistance on day one. Earlier, over 85% users would not return to QuickBooks online post-enrollment day. For onboarded users, this dropped to 50%. The early results have been very encouraging. Uh, we have found 3x conversion uh, greater than uh, what we do on a normal basis. So uh, when we do assisted onboarding, there we, are, we are getting one third of our customers, one third of our paid customers to date through assisted onboarding. And we believe that this model can be scaled up through a good hybrid combination.